Hello out to all you wonderful people, this is Audrey the Game Idea Guy. Thank you once again for lending me your time and your ear listening into another Wood Rock for Xbox discussion. And this time I'm going to be talking about Avatar Knuckles. And somebody's going to be like, well you already did Avatar Fighter, why would you need Avatar Knuckles? Because one is not the same as the other. Avatar Fighter is a representation of a fighting game, Avatar Knuckles is a representation of a beat-em-up. They are not mutually exclusive, even though they can work together. Because you can have special moves that operate like a fighting game in a beat em up and you can share characters back and forth, which is why this concept was something that stuck out to me anyway, since I am a very big fan of beat em ups. And it's like Microsoft has so many open genres that they could make games for that this just makes sense to me. Now I mean, it doesn't necessarily have to make sense to a bunch of other people, but to me, I think if they had their own beat em up where you could use your avatar as a character, I mean, they could come up with their own stories if they want, or even set up the game to have like one or two, maybe three different base storylines that you can play through and also give you the option to make your own stories and make your own game out of it. Now, people will probably be like, well, you already did Project Spark Rebirth, Reborn, or whatever. I think, I, yeah, I think I called it Rebirth. But, that would be an overall game engine. Whereas this would be a game that is strictly set with its own rules that you can just make content for. Kind of just like taking Halo, like any game since Halo 3, and using the Forge, and then working on a playlist to make your own game types that fit within the engine of Halo. It's the same concept, but it's just doing it for avatars and beat-em-ups. And honestly, if they did that as a whole concept where, where you had games where you can play as avatars, and you can use the avatars to make your own content for the games, or basically do your own custom characters and use the avatars as your own representatives, they could cover a lot of different genres that they don't normally cover. That's why I'm talking about this beat 'em up thing now. And as I said before, doing these videos, I was going to heavily push avatars because I feel like they are underutilized. So again, giving you the option to set up your character to do their own special combo, do their own special moves, depending on how the game's engine works. I mean, if a combi- if they did it as a combination between, like, somewhere where Streets of Rage 3 and Final Fight 3, if they could combine those two styles of play, because they're not very different from each other and they both allow a lot of flexibility, they could make something really good. But you'd have to give the player the option to set up how they do their special moves and what combos are available you could, again, give a base storyline, give some base characters in the game that were already designed for it that you could play as and just leave some open slots for whoever's playing to make their own characters. Like, you don't want any more than somewhere between 8 and 10 character slots being in the game and maybe, like, somewhere between 4 and 6 of them being available for you to make your own characters for it. Simple as that. And put a bunch of different musical tracks in the game that allow you to do what you want with it. Or even allow you to upload your own tracks to, say, um, using Windows 10. Like you have a Windows 10 app. Even if you can't play the game on your PC because your PC may not be able to run it. You could still use it to upload stuff and set the engine up and then play it on your Xbox One or Series X console. Is a, is a workaround. And that way you'd also have your keyboard and stuff to be able to do your own storylines and dialogue and things of that nature. But like, hey, even allow people to set up and put in voice clips if they want to. Again, all of this is well within what Microsoft could do. It's just not what they're doing. So, that's why I'm here to make the suggestion and put it out there and... Yeah, I guess hope something works out, but I'm doubting that they'll be listening to me. So, those are that's the basic premise of what I have now. If anybody wants to add in their own comments and the and.
thoughts in the comment section down below. Go ahead. I'm very much ready to see what what you guys have to say, especially you, Trinell, because you comment on every one of these just about. So um, thank you guys very much for listening. Keep your eyes and ears up for more stuff from me. And until the next time, enjoy your games and peace out.